Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Points of Articulation. My name's Dave and if you're new to the channel, welcome everybody. Happy Halloween! Can you believe 2021 is almost over and another Halloween is upon us? So this year I thought I would keep it simple, keep it Star Wars, which that's what everybody likes to see on my channel. So today we are going to be looking at the Star Wars Droid Factory Halloween figure, the R6W1CH, released in 2021. Now the R6 Witch, as it's known, is an exclusive to Disney World. You would have to go down there and go to a certain shop to pick it up. So luckily for me, my good friend Barb and her daughter went down to Disney World, went to the exact shop it was at, and picked this up for me, along with another Droid Factory exclusive set, which we're gonna also compare this with later on. So stay tuned for that. And I have to say, Barb, thank you so much for grabbing this. This thing is awesome. I know the three and three quarter inch figures aren't everybody's cup of tea, but to have something that's, you know, holiday inspired, it's pretty cool. And I will say this, even though it's not necessarily canon, the write up on the back of the box is pretty spooky and cool too. And we're gonna take a look at that. So if you're new to my channel, I love to get my camera close, see all these details and really show everybody at home what it is we're actually buying. So we're gonna take a look at the box first, then we're gonna go over the mold, the articulation, paint, compare it to some other pieces, and then we'll be done. So let's get started. All right, let's grab this baby and look at the box, which I have to admit, I really enjoy, uh, mainly the blue schematic, but we'll get to that. First of all, we have Disney, four plus, Star Wars and that nice metallic look, the name of our character, R6W1CH, and look at this schematic blue background, right? We got some letters up there in Arabesh. We got the BB-8, and we also have an R2 unit, which looks awesome. Coming down, we have this beautiful artwork here. Red sky, red moon, and then we have some mountains. And then we have a picture of our figure. It would have been cool if they like hand drew this to blend with the background. But, uh, what are you gonna do? It's just a picture of the toy. And then at the bottom we have Droid Factory, which is kind of cool. And right here we have our little blister with our droid in there. We can see the cool hat she has, pretty awesome. And that's right, I did say she, because in the back, if we look here, again, we had that cool schematic with some of the language up there, Star Wars Droid Factory. And here we have a brief write-up. All different types of droids populate the Star Wars galaxy. Each is different and has their own unique personality and colors. This droid is from the mysterious world of Dathomir and is known to aid a coven of witches in their gifts of wielding dark magic. Join R6W1CH on her adventures throughout the galaxy. May the force be with you and your droids. See, that is an awesome write-up. It gives you a little taste of what this character is about. And then if you're a kid or if you have a good imagination, you can run with it and make your own stories and stuff like that. That's pretty awesome, especially that it comes from Dathomir. If you're a fan of the Clone Wars and Rebels and all that, you'll know about the uh, sisters on that planet. Great stuff. I'm not really going to get into it, but really cool tie there. Underneath that, we do have a nice schematic of our droid. Everything is labeled, and apparently it's made out of Durasteel, which is pretty cool. And on the bottom, we have R6W1CH. Colors may vary from the image shown, which they look pretty accurate. Price of $12.99. And then we have some copyright crap over there. Now, the price may be a little high, but it is an exclusive, so uh, I guess they do what they do. You know Disney at this point. But regardless, pretty awesome. I do think it looks great. So now let's crack it out of the box. And now looking at the mold on the witch, she has a lot of detail. Now, if you're a collector of these astromechs, nothing's really gonna jump out at you at all. We've seen most of this type of detailing before, but it is pretty cool. So let's dive into it. So first of all, right here, we have our photoreceptor eye. This little section right there is an auditory sensor. We have our hollow projector utility arms right here and here 
and also doors on the left and right sides, which are also utility arms. Astromechs can have different things in these, so I can't fine tune it and say, oh, that's a taser and this is an input for the computers. It could alter from droid to droid. Moving down right here, we have our system ventilation, retractable tread or leg as I like to call it. And then we have the droid's legs on the sides or arms. Now these are nicely detailed and do feature some articulation, which is nice. On the back, we have some great paneling and design work, especially on the head, the little rim going around, very nice stuff. Now the droid does have some movable parts and most of that we'll look at later in the video. But when we get a close up, I will be taking off the head to look at that beautiful detail on the interior. So having said that, let's get a close up look and see what this baby really has to offer. All right, having a closer look, first we're gonna look at the hat itself. You can see it's very floppy and cool looking. It's a witch hat, there's nothing more to say. You have a light texture on there, but it's mostly smooth. You can see a little wrinkle at the top where it's bent over. And all in all, I like it, it's pretty sick. Now the cool thing is you can actually take this off which is a little jump in the gun, but we're showing off the mold, so it's okay, right? So if you look here, we do have some recessed sections, which is awesome. Peg for the hat right there, or other accessories you might have from collecting these. So that's pretty awesome. Going around, you can see nothing on this droid is flat. Everything has a curve or recess or piece that's popping out like a module. That's pretty awesome. You can see some recessed parts on the sides. Very nice. I think they did a great job with this droid. I love the paint too. Cool stuff. So removing the head, we can see little droid components in here. And I wish just had a dry brush on there. You have a lot of great detailing in here. And I get it, you're never really gonna see it with the head on, but Damn, that looks great. All the little wires and doodads. Great stuff. I like that quite a bit. So let's get the head back on real quick. Nice. So looking at the main body, it looks like a typical astromech. We have all our panel lines, ports for power and exhaust, which is great. Or I shouldn't say exhaust, more like venting. But I guess if you're venting heat, it's sort of exhaust. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> we have molding coming down here with a seam line. And then some nice molding in the aft section or the back. Looking good. Again, you can see it coming down with a line. And at the bottom, we have our little retractable foot leg. This doesn't go into the main body. You could actually pull this out but it's molded pretty well. Nice. Now for the arms, they are molded excellent as well. You can see the nice silver paint recessed in, coming down and we have our little tread here, which looks amazing. Look at the detail on there, really cool. And copyright crap, I knew it was on here somewhere. China. And we have Disney on the interior of the arm. But really cool. And I love the little detail coming down the side there with the wheel. Nice. The other arm is exactly the same. Nothing really to look at, but there's more copyright stuff there. China, Disney. Now these arms are technically swappable. You could mix and match them. And we'll get to that later. But pretty cool nonetheless. All in all, a very detailed figure for something so small. Now, uh, people could argue that it's not super detailed, which is true, but it has it where it counts. Now, when it comes to accessories, the R6 does come with two items. Now, most of these astromechs do come with a removable, retractable third leg, or tread, if you will. So we could count that. That way, the astromech can stand on its two legs, like R2, D2 does in the film. And that's pretty cool. So let me put this right back. It basically pegs in with friction. There you go. But one accessory this bad boy comes with that no other droid does 
is this cool hat that you can grab it and just twist it off. It's basically a peg and a port. And this is awesome. You could actually take this hat and put it on other droids. So if I grab R5 over here and put this on, there you go. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's that's pretty cool. You know, it gives a little option for play, even though uh, the witch, I don't know if I would play with it. It's more of a collectible toy, if you want to put it that way. But the option is there, and I think it looks pretty cool. Awesome. Moving on, let's talk about this droid's articulation. This bad boy has about, I would say, five points of articulation. First, on the head, it's a swivel, so it can rotate all the way around, which is awesome. Both legs are on a swivel, so they can go all the way around as well, which is great. And then right here, these are the treads. They are actually on a hinge, and if I could grab one right here, you can see they will tilt a little bit. And that is so when the droid is moving, it can lay level on the ground like that, which is pretty awesome. Now it does have some removable pieces, but we just covered that in our accessory section. So we really don't have to take it apart again. But one thing I will say is that what this toy offers is the ability to take it apart and mix it with other droids. Now, if you're a collector like me, you know, you might not want to do it, but you do have the option. If you grab the head, it does come out and you can see all the beautiful detail there. And if I put this down like so and grab this droid, which I believe is R6, you can take off the head, pop on the witch's head, and there you go. You just made a custom new droid, so to speak. So pretty awesome. And you could do that with this droid as well. Grab Witch's body, grab R6's head, and there you go. Pretty nice, right? Now, both of these are the same type of astromech. I believe it's the same exact mold, to be honest with you. They're both R6s. So you might be asking, can you do any other droid? Well, if I grab an R2 unit, there you go. You can take the head off. And yes, it will work. You just plug that in. And just like that, you're good to go. And it rotates and everything. You could also replace the arms, if you want to call them that. Just give me a moment so I can get this in. And there you go. You could even take this piece out and replace it with another one. So if you really wanted to get crazy, let's take this piece out of R5, which is white. And there you go. You know, there's a lot of possibilities. Let me push that in there. There we go. For play value here which is kind of cool you know you could build your own droid if you really want to and make it your own and i kind of like that i always love the ability to customize what you own and it's probably why i like uh x-wing and armada so much because you can use cards to upgrade your ships same type of purpose very cool and now looking at that paint on the w1ch this baby has about four different colors going for it. As you can see, we have a lot of red, it's the main color, followed by black, white, and hints of silver. I think it's very nicely done, the paint is very clean and clear, and I really like it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Do you like the paint scheme of this figure? And now for a quick size comparison with the R6 W1CH. First on the right hand side, we have the Vintage Collection Boba Fett. Awesome figure. I'm not so um, into the three and three quarter inch line, except for the old Power to Force figures from the 90s. I know a lot of people aren't into them, but I love them. It's what I grew up with. But I have to say, the Vintage line, is like a miniature black series you know they have a lot of great detail and i do have the mandalorian i do have the updated boba fett figure from return of the jedi and who knows we might be looking at them with a certain ship that was made for that line as well stay tuned for that and then finally on the left hand side we have the uss stargazer which is a star trek micro machines vessel from the 90s just to show scale and we could see how the Astromech and also Boba Fett do go well together in size. So awesome stuff. And now for an added bonus size comparison with the R6 Witch seen in the center, 
we have some more astromechs from different exclusive droid factory sets first on the right hand side we have the r5 2je followed by r6 le5 looking good then we have our witch next to that we have the r2 shp and finally on the far left hand side we have dio from the rise of skywalker all in all these astromechs are pretty cool now as i mentioned before i'm not a huge collector of the three and three quarter inch line at all and all of these droids when you stand them up are roughly three and a half inches tall so they're a nice size they're like little miniatures it's great and what i like about these is you know you can mix and match the limbs if you really want to and i love them i think it's a great idea and who knows maybe down the line i'll pick up more astromechs I would like to have all the different types of series. For example, right here, we have R5s, R6s, and also R2 units. So that's pretty cool. What do you guys think of all these droids? Let me know in the comments below. And it's Halloween, so let's have a treat. Another size comparison. In the center, we have the witch figure, obviously. And then on the right-hand side, we have the NECA blade figure from Puppet Master. Not so much a fan of the Puppet Master series, but I do love the stop motion of the puppets in those films. Great stuff. Now, this is my favorite puppet out of the whole series that we have from NECA so far. I love this guy. The trench coat, the blades, the face with the little needles popping out. Good stuff. The figure actually has some great articulation, but it does have a little issue standing here and there. Then on the left, we have NECA's Chucky from Child's Play. Now, growing up, I was a big horror and sci-fi action fan. I love Predator, Alien, Robocop, Friday the 13th. But when it comes to Child's Play, that's I guess where my brain lost all reality. And for the first time growing up, it's what scared the hell out of me. I think I was about six or seven years old. I watched it with my good friend Rob at the time and it freaked me out looking her over my shoulder, jumping and screaming every time something moved in my room. Back then, it, it was scary. Looking at it now as, a, as an adult, I find it to be one of my favorite movies because of the history I have with it, but also for film history purposes, because Chucky at the time was, I think, the most movable animatronic head at the time with all the motors and gizmos and servos and all that stuff. And to me, that's awesome. I love that fact. And apparently, the actual puppet for Child's Play, the skeleton was never thrown out. What they did was they repurposed it and used it for the Crypt Keeper in Tales of the Crypt. So if you type in Crypt Keeper from Tales of the Crypt, you'll see that the eyes are exactly the same. Because you had all those servos and moving parts, it was easy to make it work in other, uh, you know, different types of films where the skin could cover it because it had all that motion like real muscles. So really awesome stuff. Hopefully one day, uh, once people are okay with me, not just reviewing Star Wars figures, I would love to start doing some of my horror figures and science fiction and action figures. I love this stuff. I know growing up, ships were my thing and they still are. I love talking about different vehicles from my sci-fi franchises. But I really have a love for horror and sci-fi and different stuff like that. I could just talk about it for hours. But you know what? We're not here for that. So let's get back to the review. So that does it for all the size comparison sections in this video. So now let's conclude. And that does it today for my review of the Star Wars Droid Factory Halloween figure R6W1CH released in 2021. Now, for being a size of three and a half inches and going with the three and three quarter inch figures, I have to say I'm very impressed with this piece. Yes, for us droid collectors, we have seen this mold time and time again, but I dig it. I think it works great. And it goes with the whole Star Wars idea. You know, when we watch Star Wars, there's tons of different colored astromechs and droids all over. So whatever, my brain buys it. Does it buy the giant witch hat? No, but you know what? It's a Halloween figure. It's something fun. And I love it. I think it's great. And a little backstory about working with the Night Sisters on Dathomir. Awesome. I think that's great stuff. Now, looking at the mold, yeah, we've seen it before, but it has some great detailing on it. 
I love all the paneling, the recesses, the little modules. It's great. I think that it would be cool if the leg in the center can retract into the main body, but they do give us the option of taking it off as well to swap it with other Astromechs. So I guess it's okay. Paint wise, I think it's amazing. Very clean, very uh, straight edges. There's no bleeding. Uh, the only problem I see on this bad boy would have to be the silver on the two arms. It's a little weak, but besides that, it's great you know i think it looks amazing and it really pops as you can see in front of you the black the white the red it's cool in my opinion and that's everything i have to say today i recommend this if you're a fan of star wars and halloween it's a great little gimmicky idea and i think it's awesome so if you enjoyed this video smash that like button and if you like to see new videos every week subscribe Again, to all of you out there, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to watch my content. I greatly appreciate it, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, everybody. Happy Halloween.